Sometimes we might not have time to explore factors in as much depth, or we may want to concentrate on particular factors and therefore spend less time on other factors that are not relevant, especially in selection scenarios. Watch this video to see an alternative approach to exploration where Ken provides the results immediately after describing the factor. In this case, the primary factor, privateness. OK, so what we're going to look at next is privateness. And this assesses the degree to which self-disclosure is part of a person's natural style. So those more on the right-hand side, less likely than most to disclose personal information. So they might be quite careful about the image they present to others, likely to be more discreet, may be seen by others as difficult to get to know. Whilst those on the left-hand side are more willing than most to disclose information about themselves, uh, so likely to be quite open and straightforward, tend to be seen as genuine, might be seen as a bit less discreet by some, and may self-disclose when it's not appropriate. And just to highlight, it's different to liveliness, which is more about how exuberant you might be in your interactions. This really is about the content, what you reveal. So just to do something slightly different from the way we've gone through them at the moment, I'm actually going to give you your result. So your result indicated that you came out on the left-hand side, so more willing than most to disclose information about yourself. Uh, again, just showing the range. If you took it again, you might be more towards the left-hand side, or you might even just come out here in the mid-range. So how does that sound? That sounds spot on. I'm, I'm pretty much an open book. OK. And uh, when would you keep personal information to yourself? Um, I'm open with anybody, really, but with clients, I'd definitely be much more reserved. OK, that's great. Thank you for that. Let's move on to the next factor.